Good morning to A. Welcome to the first of this week's lessons. Today our theme is on the bus. Today we will be talking about travelling on the bus. Fahren mit dem Bus. Our goal for our learning is I can describe the rules for travelling by bus using the words should and shouldn't. Ich kann die Regeln für das Reisen mit dem Bus beschreiben. The word should auf Deutsch heißt sollten and shouldn't heißt sollten nicht. These are the important words we will be using today. Let's practice how we ask for directions. First, let's recap from Excuse me, can you show me the way to the bus stop, please? Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the bus stop, please? Last week, we learned different words Remember to use to give, to give directions. Read the words on Travel this slide forward, to jog your memory. Ahead. Can you remember how to give turn directions? Left, turn right, go across the road, and how to say that something is opposite, next to, or between. If you want to go back and look at next week's words and have another go at them to help you with this part of the lesson, then you can. Let's try giving directions to the bus stop. I am in front of the pizza restaurant. How do I get to the bus stop? Let's look so at the map. I am in front of there the are six bus stops marked on the map yeah. in yellow. In X, and there are three Warner different Rock bus routes. The purple How bus 31 bus goes past the, the mall and the swimming, swimming pool swimming and the train stop. station. The red bus, so first 51, bus goes stops. past the supermarket the and the train station and the petrol stop. station. Which one will I go the blue to? bus, 58, left, goes from the supermarket, right, past the library, to the school. Will I have to cross the road? I'm standing in front will of the I pizza restaurant. How do I get to the bus stop? Where is the bus stop? First, choose which bus stop is closest to me. Will I turn left or turn right? Will I have to cross the road? Will I have to cross a roundabout? How will I know when I get to the bus stop? What is the bus stop next to? I am at the supermarket. Which bus will take me to the school? Let's look at the map. I am at the supermarket, here with the yellow X. I'm supermarket. I want to take the bus all the way to the school. Up in the corner is the school. Which colour bus will take me? Is it the red 51 bus or the blue 58 bus? My house is near the library. How can I take the bus to the train station? Let's My house is near the library. Here with a yellow X. Ich wohne in die Nähe von um, Bucherheim or Bibliothek. I want to go to the train station. That's up at the top with the X. Which colour bus can go from near my house to the train station? First I have to walk to the bus stop. So will I turn left at the roundabout or turn right? When I'm at the bus stop, will I take the red bus? Red 51 or the blue bus, blue 58, which takes me to the train station. K 
Can I get to school on the purple bus? Let's look. Does the purple 31 bus stop at the bus stop at the school? Yukas oder nicht? Today we have some new learning. I'm going to read you the story of James. James is going to ride on the bus. While I read the story, you need to think, what should James and his dad do? What shouldn't they do? So, denken, weil ich das, um, das durchlesen, denkst du um. Was sollten James und Papa tun? Was sollten sie nicht tun? James rides the bus. James and his dad are going to watch the football today. James is very excited. It's going to be very busy at the football ground. Dad says they shouldn't take the car. What should they do? Dad checks the bus timetable. They can take the bus to the game. They should be at the bus stop at 2.20pm. James and Dad walk to the bus stop. Dad has his bus pass and he gives James some money to pay the driver. The bus stops. Where should they get on? James gets on at the front and he pays the driver. Dad gets on at the front and shows the driver his bus pass. Quick, James, says Dad. We should sit down before the bus starts to move. James and his dad find two empty seats together and sit down. I'm hungry says James. Can I eat my sandwiches? You shouldn't eat on the bus, James, says Dad. Wait until we get to the football ground. <sighs> I'm bored, says James. Should I ask the driver if we're nearly there? You shouldn't distract the driver when he's driving, James. His dad reminds him. Here, look. Dad shows James how to read the signs on the bus to know when it will be their stop. James sits in his chair and looks out of the window. The bus is getting full. More people get on, but there is no place to sit. Should I let that old lady sit down? asks James. That's kind, says Dad. James stands up and the old lady sits down. Thank you, she says to James. You should hold on tight to the rail, says Dad. What does this button do? asks James. Should I press it? Not yet, says Dad. You should only press the button when it's nearly our stop. It rings the bell to tell the driver we want to get off. Soon James spots their bus stop. Should I press the button now? He asks Dad. Yes, Dad says. The bell rings. And James and his dad wait for the bus to stop. The bus stops and James and his dad get off. Dad pulls out their tickets for the football match. Should we go? Yes, says James excitedly. Let's go! I hope you enjoyed the story of James on the bus.
Now it's your turn for our active learning today. Today you will need scissors, a pen and a glue stick and the sheets from your worksheet pack. If you don't have any glue with you, you can draw and write the answers on the blank sheet. First, cut out the words and the pictures and glue them in order on the blank worksheet. Make sure that the pictures match the words. Next, we're going to look at the story of James on the bus again. Look at the 12 pictures and use them to help you write what James should or shouldn't do on the bus. For each picture, choose the phrase at the top to match. And the first picture is already done for you. Here's the car. James and his dad shouldn't take the car to the football match because it's too busy. You can copy the words from the sheet at the top and each time choose whether James should er sollte or James shouldn't er sollte nicht. What do you think for the second picture? It shows somebody with their feet up on the chair. Should James put his feet up on the chair? James shouldn't put his feet up on the chair. You can choose the words from the top of the page and write the sentence under the picture. James shouldn't put his feet up on the chair. If you get stuck with any of the words, you can look back in the story and match the words to the pictures in the story. Let's look through the pictures before you begin. The first one I already finished. The second picture. The boy has his feet up on the chair. And the third picture, number three. The boy is distracting the driver. The young spricht mit dem Fahrer als er fährt. Es geht nicht. Number four. He shows some money to pay for a ticket. Das Busticket kaufen. Number five shows James's lunch. Das Mittagsessen. Sollte er das essen oder nicht? Number six shows somebody listening to loud music. Loud music hören. Is that a good idea on the bus? Should James play loud music? Well, he shouldn't play loud music. Number seven shows somebody running. Schnell laufen. Can we run on the bus? Number eight is a picture of the bus handrail. This is what we hold on the bus so we don't fall. Um, das haben wir fest im Bus. So, dass wir hinfallen nicht. Number nine. There shows a picture of somebody standing up. Steht auf. So, the old lady can sit down. So, dass das altes Frau kann da sitzen. Number ten. Shows the eyes are looking at the bus timetable. Stundenplan für den Bus. Man muss immer an dem Stundenplan gucken. Number 11 shows the doors at the back of the bus and the front of the bus. Where do we get on the bus? Wo gehen wir in den Bus? Zu vorne oder hinter in den Bus? Welches geht? Number 12 shows a dog 
Now, this is an important rule. You shouldn't take out the X in your list. You know, it has a big cross with it. This dog does not belong on that box. So now we're going to recap our learning. You should pause the video here until after you've finished your worksheet. Then we're going to carry on and check how much you've remembered. Let's start. Can you think of three things you should do when riding on the bus? Let's see some ideas. You should pay for a ticket. You should hold on to the rail. You should stand up to let an old person sit down. You should get on at the front of the bus. You should look at the timetable and check what time you need to be at the bus stop. Can you think of three things you shouldn't do when riding the bus? Yes, time for your me bus. Here are some ideas. You shouldn't distract the driver. You shouldn't put your feet on the chair. On the bus, you shouldn't listen to loud music. And you shouldn't eat on the bus. You shouldn't kick a ball or chase a ball on the bus. If you have any other ideas, perhaps you did. Let's look back at our learning goal. I can describe the rules for travelling by bus using the words should and shouldn't. What do you think? Kannst du jetzt sagen, du fahr gern, wir fahren mit dem Bus? Und kannst du die englische Wörter benutzen? Should and shouldn't. To help you remember the rules for travelling on the bus, there's one more worksheet with a secret code to check you know how to catch the bus. See if you can match the patterns to the letters to write the secret messages on the page. That's all for today, but please share your learning with me. Tell me how you found today's learning. Was it easy or hard? Please send me a photo of your writing for me to look at. And don't forget, you can email me anytime you need help. I look forward to seeing you at our video conference on Wednesday. Have a good week. Bye.